want to know what do you tell a child who witnesses such extreme violence? Eight on Your Side has the answers today. Joining us now is psychologist Dr. Stacy Schechner and such a tragic story. Thank you for being here. We appreciate you coming back. Thanks for having me. Um, I can't imagine for the kids who witness that. How do you, as a parent, help them? I think you need to first listen to them. Some of them are going to cry, scream, they're going to be, maybe they're going to go into a shock, they're going to withdraw. I think you need to let them vent and have whatever emotion without trying to coddle them or fix them or say it's going to be okay. I think you need to let them have their feelings. That's the most important thing so they don't sit there, Stacy, and internalize and in a couple weeks they're depressed and you don't know what's going on with them. Speaking of that, what are some warning signs? When you have a child who's very troubled, whatever that trouble is, mm -hmm. how, what should you be looking for? I have a 14 year old mm -hmm. so this is good information for parents oh absolutely what you need to look for is a change in appetite change in sleeping and change in maybe social relationships or uh, if they're talking to you or not talking to you what we do have to look for is extroverts they may act out they may be angry we're not worried about them what we're worried about is more of the introverts who do not talk to anyone and we don't know what's going on inside their head those are the kids that we really need to get to and kind of uh, get to open up their feelings and if not you need to get a psychologist to try to work with them so they share their feelings. And you know, anytime there's a teenage suicide so tragic, in this, mm -hmm. in this case, an attempt, how do you, what, what do you think would force a child to do it in such a public way, in a classroom, in front of students? He was trying to, I think, call some attention to himself. Like, look at me, I'm hurting. I mean, if he wasn't wanting other people to know what was going through his head and how he's feeling, he would have done it privately. So to do it in front of his classmates, he might, he might have been saying to him, look, I want some attention. I want to be noticed. I want to be engaged. I want to fit in. To do it in a peer environment, there must have been something going on with him not feeling like he truly fit, fit mm -hmm. in. So tragic on every level. Every level. Every level. Dr. Schechner, thank you for being here today. Thank you we for having me. It.